Okay, we're gonna create channel art for your YouTube channel. This is really super simple, especially when you have a template, which I do, and I'll leave a link to how you get to the template below. So I'm gonna go ahead and use PicMonkey for this. Um, what I've done is I've saved it to my PicMonkey hub, but for anybody who does not have this saved already, I'm gonna go to my computer and pick out the YouTube channel art template. Again, I'll leave a link to it below. A couple of things, you can watch YouTube on your TV, do that all the time. So the screen for your TV is gonna include everything in this area. But if you actually are just looking for your tab, looking at it in your tablet, it's gonna include this information. And then your smartphone is gonna be this in, in the middle. So again, when you create your actual art, you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's basically fits any screen. So let me go ahead and for one, I'm just gonna do the background. Usually you could do the background color, but since I wanna make sure I keep with this art, um, I'm going to start with the background. I'm just gonna do a rectangle. And for now, I'm gonna fade it a lot. And this might be the last thing you wanna do since we we're trying to keep the background so you can see it, but I know I'm going to put my brand colors I don't remember what it was, the pink in the background. Um, again, I'm not gonna have this faded for the channel, but just because I'm kind of trying to figure out how this is gonna look, I'm gonna have that here. I'm gonna actually add my own image. So if you're not used to PicMonkey, um, PicMonkey, you can add your own overlays. So I added the background, which was a shape, by going to this butterfly. I'm actually gonna add my own picture so I can have my face on my channel. Um, I do have the Royale version. You'll see that there's little crowns here. Um, that's only $4.99. I'll put a link to how you can get that for free for about a month. But um, if you wanna just use the free version, that's okay with this also. Okay, so I am going to add my own overlay. So I'm gonna look at my pictures. Okay, for now, I'm just gonna use this picture that I have. And actually with this, I probably don't need my brand colors in the background, and I'll tell you why in just a second. But I'm going to switch this, because if you remember on your channel, you're gonna have an area over here that most people um, will, it will be covered um, when you're using it. So I'm gonna put this here. Now remember, we wanna make sure it's visible from each of the devices. So what I'm gonna do is, again, keeping in mind how it's kind of shaped. If I do this, it's kind of funky, <laughs> but I'm going to, that's gonna to be too big. So I'm gonna do, and make sure it's just right for a tablet, actually. So I want my thumb in there, my full face. So I'm gonna do this. And then what I'll do is this background, see this is the background that I had. I'm gonna click on here on your left-hand side and click the dropper so I can make sure it's the same color as the background here. So I'm gonna go all the way to the corner. And then the background, if I change the fade, it should be pretty much the same color. And I'll show you how we can kind of fix it where it blends in a little bit more. But um, so for the most part, Again, I'm gonna come back to the background because we wanna make sure everything fits. I'm just dragging the background to the, to the um, back here. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and I'm gonna erase around it. So the eraser, I'm gonna make it the largest size and the hardness, I'm gonna show you the difference. If I keep it like that, it's just a circle. Let me undo, they moved it, undo. Um, if I keep it at zero, it see how it kind of fades it? So I can blend this in with backgrounds and other things so it doesn't look so hard or so straight. And then so I'm gonna change the size. And so this will help when we're um, blending in the background. So I'm just gonna do this all the way around. Okay, we'll come back to that. I still think this is a little too big because again, I want the thumb to show on the 
smartphone too. So I'll make it, I'll do like that. Okay, I'm gonna put some text and I'm gonna add my logo. So I'm just gonna add my logo in my graphic. So I added my logo. Notice you can change the color. So my logo obviously is pink, but I'm gonna change it to white because I know the background um, is gonna be pink. So I'm just, I just change it over here because it is an object and I'm gonna put this towards the top. Then I'm going to add text that will help, help me tell people exactly what my channel is about. So you can add text about your schedule, what you post, who you are, whatever you like. I'm gonna go ahead and just um, use my brand fonts. Um, these are my two brand fonts at the top. If you don't have your brand fonts downloaded to your desktop, I do have a video that shows you how to download your own um, fonts for free. And it's actually really simple. I'll include that in the description. Okay, so let's add the text and I'm just gonna put digital marketing. And what I'm gonna do is make this a lot smaller, center it, make it white, because again, we want everything in the background. And actually at this point, since I know my sizing or sizes, I'm gonna actually bring my background up so I can see what it looks like and I'll right click and send it all the way to the back just to make sure yep so yeah this will work okay so I'm gonna move it out the way one more time and what I'll do is I'll continue and I'm just moving it because it's hard to do the text on top of it um, so I'm just gonna make sure I put everything that my channel is gonna be about. I'm gonna duplicate it a couple times, then I will edit the text to make sure it includes everything. Okay, I added all the things that I talked about on my channel. I'm just going to add the back. And if you see, this is kind of fading into it. I can actually, if I like, and again, I'm sorry, I have to move it. I can use that eraser to make it blend a little bit more. So I would probably kind of get rid of this. And I'm just clicking over and over again. Okay, I'm gonna go back to basic, move it back, and then it kind of fits in a little bit more. Now if you want, you could do something around the corners here or change it to make sure it looks right on an actual TV screen, but I'm more worried about the iPhone and the tablets. So I am gonna save this one here. I'm gonna add it to my hub. If you want, you can just save it. Um, this will be my YouTube channel art. Okay, and then I'm gonna download it and get it ready for YouTube. One thing I want to mention that I didn't do that you can do is you can put other um, items around the edges to make it look better for the TV screen. So there's different things, different frames here. For me, it's not a big deal. Um, I think just having the pink itself um, will work, but you can you can play around with the different edges. And if you have your own, you can upload different things that you have, your different graphics. So um, it's up to you how far you wanna go with this, but for me, this is just fine. Now I'm on my YouTube channel here and you will see that um, you have these little pencils that indicates you can make a change. So I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna select edit channel art. And it's really easy, you just select your channel art that you've created. Again, if you have the right dimensions, um, it should look fine here. So you can see on the mobile, it gives you a preview and everything fits on the TV, everything fits in the desktop. That's because I did use um, the template and you can auto, um, excuse me, you could adjust and crop it. So if you were off a little bit um, or 
you can auto enhance. I really don't know what this does, but I check it each time and it seems to make it pop. So I'm just going to leave it there and click on select. And there you go. I have new channel art. So I'm going to close this. Now I would probably change this picture so it has the same pink background just because I'm a little um, anal about stuff like that. But for now, this looks fine and the channel looks great. Hey, Nina again. So did you like that video? All you have to do to see more videos like that is one, like that video, and then subscribe to my channel and then you'll be notified as I get more tutorials. Or if you'd like to ask about me doing a tutorial, go ahead and leave a comment in the box below and I'll respond and let you know if we're going to add it to our list. Also, don't forget that I'm here every Wednesday at 10, 10 p.m. Eastern answering questions. But again, don't forget, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, and subscribe. See you soon.